This video tutorial is brought to you by JimmyR.com, the best of the internet. WGit is a free command line download manager that has several very, very useful functions. For example, let's say I have a directory full of files. Normally, to download every single file in the directory, I'd have to right click, save as, right click, save link as, right click, save as, save as, save as, over and over it and over and it takes forever because you can only download two files at once and uh, there's so many files in the directory so it really really does take forever especially if they're big files. What wget allows you to do is download every single file in the directory just with one command and it actually allows filtering for let's say only download the mp3s or only download the avis or only download mp3s and avis and don't download anything else also have you ever been downloading a large file for example a game or something uh, you get disconnected from the internet and the download starts at zero again you have to reconnect and then uh, download the file from scratch well wget allows you to continue downloading whatever files you were downloading. And again, this is absolutely free. It's open source, so you can e even see the source code for this program. Uh, I have Windows, so I'm going to search wget 1.10.2, which is the latest version for Windows, and click Enter. And I'm going to click the file, and I'm going to download wget. I'm going to save it. It's only 350K, so it's a very small file size. And I have it on my desktop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a directory called wget that's on my C drive. So now I have uh, the wget.execute in a folder called wget on my C drive. If I click the file, something pops up and it closes. It closes real quick. I can't even see what pops up and nothing opens. This is because wget is a command line program and I have to open it from the command line. So open the command line, I just go to start, run, or Windows key R, and it opens this run prompt. I'm going to type CMD, and now I have my command line open here. Um, I'm going to say, since the, the wget.execute file is in a folder called wget on my C drive, I'm just going to say cd uh, c colon slash wget. Also, I could have said cd slash cd wget. Same thing. It gets me into the directory wget. So now I'm in the directory wget with a wget file. I can actually actually execute the program now. wget.execute. Except it needs a URL. The program is a download manager. So I actually have to give it something to download for it to actually do something useful. Uh, there's actually a game called Dofus Arena. I played a game called Dofus, and since it's a French-based company, they have servers in French, so it actually helped me learn French. Uh, I'm going to be downloading their Dofus Arena program, which is a game. I'm going to copy the link location. I'm using Firefox. I'm going to copy the link location, and I'm going to say wget, and I'm going to paste the link location which is the actual game. So I'm going to download this game. It's a very large file. And I click enter. So it begins downloading. And you can see it downloading right here. So it's downloading the file. It's at 2%. And let's say I get disconnected. My file download stops. And I downloaded 4 megabytes of the file. You can see it right here. Dofus Arena has downloaded 4 megabytes. Whenever I reconnect to the internet again, uh, I can click up to get the exact command I just ran, and I can run the parameter dash "-c", on wget. And if you'll notice, uh, when I start again, I start at 4 megabytes, and it'll continue the download. So I can uh, interrupt my connection as many times as I want, I can disconnect from the internet, and I can continue downloading the program right where I left off. It's a very, very, very useful trick. I don't actually want the game, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, now for the directory. Here I have a directory. So I'm going to pass uh, this directory to wget. But I'm going to add a few command line options. 
I'm going to say wget uh, dot execute. Well, actually, I don't think you need the dot execute. You can just say wget. And I'm going to specify uh, download everything on this page. So I'm going to say recursively download. And I don't want it to check subdirectories or anything like that. So I'm going to say uh, to limit it to only that page, only one page. And then I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to say only download MIDI files, which is what's on the page. I'm going to say accept only uh, MID files, or MIDI. And then I'm actually going to pass the URL, right? This is the URL of the actual directory. I click enter, and it's going to download all the MIDI files in that directory. See, it's going. And it's retards.org. I'm very sorry for this retards.org. <laughs> but they are MIDI's and they're very small file size, so it's not really going to hurt you too bad. And actually, it's going to make, uh, for every directory on the server, for example, I'm downloading from retards.org slash library slash music slash MIDI. So it actually made a directory for each of those. And then I have all the MIDI files in that directory right here. Of course, you'd probably rather use it for MP3 downloads, and you can just leave it there while it's downloading. To not get any of these crazy directories, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to add a new command line option. I'm going to go back to the beginning, and I'm going to say dash nd for no directories. So I use the exact same command, except with the dash nd, and I click enter. And again, it creates the folder, well, it should create the folder retards.org. Oh, never mind. Uh, instead, it didn't create any directories, and it's putting all the files inside the wget directory. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this, because I don't, now I have to delete all these files. Okay. But you get the point. You can use this to download all the, all the files in any particular page. Again, whoops. Again, if, um uh, if if there's a page that has just a whole bunch of cool pictures, you can also use wget, except you just change the command. Instead of dot midi, you can say uh, you can say dot jpg, gif, or bmp. I don't know, but you can actually set multiple options. Let's say you're downloading from a directory that has a whole bunch of mp3s. You could say mp3 comma mp4 comma avi I don't know just files you want and then just specify the directory I know it might seem kind of confusing especially with all these command line options but don't worry if you uh, go to google google.com I'm in google now and I search uh, wget command line wget command line help it gives me a whole bunch of options and it explains each option. Also, I just finished setting up a new site called youtube.jimmyr.com. Uh, if you go to it, you can actually directly request a video tutorial for me to make. You just enter your YouTube name and whatever you want the tutorial about and you can request a tutorial. If you go to the requested list, you can see all the requests people have submitted so far and you can actually vote on what you want to see on my next videos. Uh, to vote, just click the little vote button. It'll increase the vote. So, if you want to request a tutorial, or you think you have a good idea for another tutorial, you can actually go to the site, it's youtube.jimmyr.com, and request the next tutorial. I'll do my best and try to keep up with your request, and definitely, I will post uh, video tutorials about the top voted requests. Thanks for listening. This has been a video tutorial by JimmyR.com. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I have many more useful videos. YouTube. <laughs>